So today we are going to see a patient who presented with periorbital puffiness. Now uh, let's have a case history of what happened actually. We see the case summary. The patient presented with fever and shortness of breath for the last few days. And the preliminary examination suggested that this patient had left side pleural effusion. Now what happened to this patient that he developed periorbital puffiness? Effusion was not on the right side. If it is on the right side, the possibility is that patient may have effusion because of the fluid overload. But this is a left-sided effusion, which generally means there is a localized pathology in the left uh, pleura. Now, you see this picture. This patient shows some periorbital puffiness, which is a little asymmetrical, more on the left side. Now, why there is periorbital puffiness? Periorbital puffiness may be because of the fluid overload situation. For example, patients who got nephrotic syndrome or patients who got congestive body failure, especially the right side drop failure. If the patients have hypothyroidism, the patients have old age. In old age, the subcutaneous tissues become lax and eye bags form in these patients. They look puffy. And then patients who got angioedema, Patients who've got orbital cellulitis or orbital tumors, they can develop uh, puffiness or swelling of the eye. And then you can see there is subcutaneous emphysema or surgical emphysema that can result in uh, periorbital swelling. Now, what happened in this patient? This patient had asymmetrical edema. Patients who've got fluid overload or hypothyroidism or they develop puffiness because of the old age, they generally have symmetrical uh, edema. They Swelling is on both sides, but this is asymmetrical. Left side is affected more than the right side. Now, what happens? Uh, why the left side is affected more? It can be injured enough, it can be seen in orbital cellulitis or orbital tumors, and it can be seen in patients who have surgical or subcutaneous emphysema. Now, look at this picture again. You see, left side is swollen, right, right side is not. And when we examined this patient, we saw that the patient had intubation, chest intubation was done on the left side to drain the hydrotomotorics the patient had. And there was a positive crepitus on feeling the patient's skin. So this patient had this orbital puffiness because of subcutaneous emphysema, uh, which is most likely due to a misplaced chest tube. So this patient requires replacement of the chest tube and aspiration of this uh, subcutaneous emphysema using continuous negative uh, suction pressure. Otherwise, if this increases in some patient, it can compromise the respiratory passages in the patient may have respiratory embarrassment. Fortunately, this patient did not have anything in the respiratory uh, system and uh, the uh, in time a diagnosis was made and the patient improved. The chest tube was readjusted.